Welcome to a business analyst's introduction to business analytics. My name is Adam Fleischhacker and I will be your guide. Please call me Adam as we journey together through the world of business analytics. Depicted here, we see business analytics as a bridge connecting the real world and the math world. Our job as business analysts as people who want to have impact on the real world, is to take the data-rich and messy problems of the real world, traverse the business analytics bridge so that we can model those problems and gather insights from the worlds of mathematics and computation. We then take those insights back to the real world and be so persuasive in our communication that decision makers and business stakeholders have no choice but to accept our recommendations. I call myself a guide because business analytics is a journey that you need to experience on your own. You are going to have to traverse the business analytics bridge by yourself. I can only point you in the right direction. Just imagine learning to ski from a series of lectures. It simply won't work. This is your journey. I am your guide. And just like any good guide, I have a well thought out journey that I think you will enjoy and be proud of yourself for completing at the end of it. During this journey, you will learn how to discover data-driven insight and to persuade decision makers to take action using effective visualizations of the insights you discovered. Six main topics will be covered on your journey with me. The first is all about learning the R programming language. We need to move beyond Excel in order to take advantage of modern tools and to do data analysis at a scale appropriate for today's problems. The second topic builds upon the first. We advance our programming skills so that we learn to manipulate and visualize data. The next three topics, we venture deep into the math and computer world. For topic three, we learn to represent uncertainty using probability and a graphical language of random variables. Topic four, modeling data and decisions, we expand our math world representations and learn to model real world scenarios using probability distributions and pretty pictures that we call generative DAGs and generative decision DAGs. The fifth topic covers Bayesian inference and Bayesian data analysis. This topic is where we use an old mathematical discovery with modern computational advances to do some amazing things. Things like combining data with domain expertise in our representations of the real world to extract previously unobtainable insight. That brings us to the last topic of compelling actions and change in the real world. We are doing fancy math and coding things, but our business stakeholders don't have our training. So we need to learn to communicate the insights we have unlocked in a way that any stakeholder can understand. So that is your journey in a nutshell, broken into six topics or themes that we will touch on throughout your journey. And just like a journey where you learn to ski, it's going to be both fun and challenging. While we're certainly all ready to have fun with this material, some of us might need a little pep talk to embrace the challenge. So in the next couple of minutes, I'm going to talk about releasing the business analytics workflow. It's going to be awesome. Let's get motivated with a little help from a Clash of Titans movie clip. Very well. Release the Kraken. Yes, release the Kraken. Recognizable by its massive size and tentacled limbs, the Kraken is one of the most legendary and feared sea monsters of the deep. Stories of the Kraken say it could take down whole ships, grab sailors off decks, and create whirlpools, all to get humans into the water and into the monster's waiting beak. Because despite having more than half the world's species to choose from for dinner, apparently there's nothing in the ocean more delicious than humans. Okay, so we've learned the Kraken is a mythical but powerful beast. 
The Baw, on the other hand, is not mythical, but it is powerful and we need to learn to use it appropriately. Baw stands for Business Analyst Workflow. So here is the Baw, and with it, you are not learning business analytics in a vacuum. You are not just learning a mathematical tool or some computer program. With the Baw, you are learning to align your work with a firm strategy and to leverage data-driven insights that eventually deliver better outcomes for your firm. Let's drill a little deeper into each piece. As a business analyst, understanding strategy is perhaps the most important part of the ball. If you don't know your company's strategy, go find it. Listen to your CEO speak, or if you're an entrepreneur, create a strategy. A strategy is really important to know which way the company is headed. Rowing harder does not help if the boat is headed in the wrong direction. For example, a company pursuing market share might be willing to increase expenses to grab customers, whereas a company pursuing cost leadership might give up some customers to keep costs low. In either case, if you want your recommendations to be taken seriously, they must be aligned with strategy. With corporate strategy front of mind, we can start on a very powerful path where data gets modeled and leads us to data-driven insight. We then take that insight to motivate action in our firm. We don't stop after making some fancy math model with a fancy name. We actually persuade true decision makers in the real world to take actions based on our recommendations. The BAW is an amazing workflow. By contrast, I'll just point out that we are modeling for insight. We're going to change and compel new behavior based on that interpretable insight. There are other workflows where you change behaviors or automate a workflow based on your ability to generate good predictions. When you do not need interpretable and justified predictions, you can use this workflow that I call the machine learning analyst workflow. However, if you want interpretable insight and justified predictions, you have to use the ball. The explainability of ball driven models leads to insights that people are more likely to take action on because they understand the reasoning behind those insights. When you learn the programming and the mathematics behind the ball, you're also analytically and mentally equipping yourself to tackle any future analytics workflow, anything you want to learn. Beyond this journey, you will be confident learning techniques from say the machine learning or artificial intelligence worlds and not be intimidated by their fancy buzzwords. Now, as you build your competence in the ball, recognize that there are going to be challenges, frustrations, and even tears along the way. It's all okay. This is a hard subject to learn and we all go through some frustrating and downright painful processes. I show a picture of a crab here because crabs, in order to grow, have to shed their shell. That leaves them vulnerable to attack and feeling a little scared. In this class, there will be times where you feel like that crab without its protective shell. It's okay. You shed your shell and sacrifice some comfort in order to grow. When I start to feel like a crab, I like to listen to interviews with Josh Waitzkin. Josh Waitzkin is a national chess champion, international Brazilian jiu-jitsu champion, and an international Tai Chi push hands champion. So he is a champion in both chess and two different martial arts. Wow. Josh wrote the book, The Art of Learning, and attributes his success to his ability to learn his ability to embrace the productive struggle. Here is Josh talking about how world-class performers embrace the productive struggle. For example, overcoming difficulty, um, suffering, learning to, to basically push through. What people don't realize is that world-class performers, what they've done is they've reoriented their relationship to suffering or that, to the point of resistance. They've learned to embrace it. They've learned to see um, the beauty in these moments where there's pain because that's incredible room for growth and I think that a lot of what you learn to do in meditation is observe the addictive way you might be defining something 
And if you want to, you can simply alter that definition. So you can change your relationship to pain or the rain or a huge storm or fear or anger. Thanks, Josh Waitzkin. I am ready to grow. I am ready to learn to release the ball. So one last tip as you are on your journey here, you can't just listen to videos or watch videos or read my book. You really have to do analytics and that requires a computer and that requires you to sit in front of the computer and actually write code. Do not think you can read code and understand it. You actually have to do it and execute it and practice with it. It is like learning a language where you gradually become fluent. So grab your computer, grab the book, bring a good attitude, get lots of sleep and work at it in small chunks. I am excited to be with you on this journey. I am here for you as your biggest cheerleader. I look forward to seeing you again in the next video. You are awesome for starting this journey.